Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Snake Doc here. I'm gonna do another pistol unboxing video here. So I just picked this up from the FFL this morning. This is a Gerson, so a Turkish firearm here. And this one happens to be MC28SA two tone, made in Turkey. There's the SKU number. These are imported by EAA now. So, for those of you who are familiar with EAA, you also may be familiar with the fact that they like to steal magazines. So, when this was being imported by Zenith Firearms, used to get three mags, used to get an oil bottle, speed loader, cleaning rod, bore brush, you still get the bore brush, get a lock right here that you don't need, and then inside the box you can see here we have the pistol itself, right here we have the little golf tee tool which is a, just a little steel golf tee basically and that works as a punch. Um, for knocking out the pin, roll pin that holds in the rear back strap. Two other back straps right here. You can see we have a flat one on top. That is the size small. They are marked that way inside. You can see this one, uh, we got it here, marked large. And then this one is the small. The small, you can see, look at how flat it is. It's almost, uh, 1911 um, without the humped mainspring housing it's going to be pretty similar to that it is pretty flat across here though there's not much of a you can see how flat it is it's not very rounded whereas this one has a bit of a, a roundness to it and then uh, the medium one that's on there is okay uh, i might try that small just to see how drastic the difference is i don't need a small i probably need the large but i i uh just want to check it out and see so on to the pistol here you can see that this is the uh, the the full-size version if you will 4.25 inch barrel um, based on the full-size MP um, so it has a little sticker here on the trigger guard with a QR code um, limited lifetime warranty so I don't know exactly what, what that means if that's handled through EAA or how, who that is handled through. So let me bring this in here. You can see MC28 SA on the slide, EAA out of Cocoa, Florida, nine millimeter marked on the barrel, made in Turkey. Um, so you can see the difference between this and the m and If you guys look back, I'm gonna get this box just closed up so I don't knock it around here. But uh, I did a video on this uh, years ago when I had the the 28 uh, SAC, which was it's basically the same grip frame and everything. It was just a shorter, like 3.8 inch barrel. And uh, I did a video on that, talking about um, were the Turks the first to do the Glock 19X, um, where it had you know a four inch or a sub four inch barrel with a full size grip that held 17 rounds so this does come with a 17 round magazine you can see that there these are metgar magazines uh it says right there metgar for gerson nine millimeter 17 round with the blue follower cz 75 mags are uh basically the same this has the gerson logo on the floor plate uh cz 75 mags will work in this gun um you can lower the uh, slot cut right here on those to make them identical uh, to the Gerson mag and it's not going to hinder any function in your CZ if you do that. Or you can just order CZ mags. Um, these mags are available, I just don't, I think usually you can get Gerson, or I'm sorry, Metgar CZ75B magazines of many, many different flavors, 16 round, 17 round, 19 round, um, 21 round I believe several different variations so uh, shop around for them find the best price they're usually under 20 bucks plus shipping um, 
takedown lever. You can see everything about this is very, very M&P. Even when you look at the beaver tail here, like the Gen 1 uh, M&P, um, the, the fact that the grip stra uh, back strap does have some uh, interference here into the side, very similar to the M&P. Um, if you look at the stippling on the front strap, it's kind of awkward. Um, there's very, very gentle texturing done right here. It's too smooth to really do anything. And then down the center, um, very, very slight jimping. Um, Nice undercut on the trigger guard. Um, it's already pretty thin right there. I don't think you could really shave it up much higher than that. And a nice scallop right here in the back strap. So uh, really easy to get a, a nice grip on it. Um, again, this has the medium back strap installed on it right now. You can put that small on there and then uh, it'll make this flat. It'll get rid of that hump. The hump feels really comfortable on this though. Um, so I'm not too concerned if that small feels terrible which it might uh, let's see how many slots do we have we have three slots here on the accessory rail um, looks to have it looks like it's pretty flat so I think it is a true 1913 it's just like this front part is curved so it's throwing me off it's definitely flat it's not like the Sig Sauer curved rail Slight, slight, slight front cocking serrations on here, very similar to the M&P 2.0. Everything about this is very similar. I believe it'll fit the same holsters too. Um, I don't have a holster with me right now to try. Uh, I usually use just the um, Safari Land GLS 578 holster. I just love that holster and uh, works really well. You could definitely concealed carry, uh, carry a gun of this size. This is very, very similar to the regular M&P, um, which a lot of people do conceal carry. It's, this gun is just slightly smaller than a Glock 17, which people conceal carry. Okay, sorry about that. My wife needed a screwdriver here, so I had to throw that upstairs for her. Um, so anyhow, uh, very, very similar um, to your M&P. Even when it, you look at the slide profile, everything about it, the sights. Um, you can see that this uses a sight that comes in from the front, very similar to the CZ75. I can't tell if that's a pin or a screw. Well, let's see if I can bring that in here and maybe it'll show up through the viewfinder. I think that's a Allen or a hex key, whatever you want to call it. Just like on the M&Ps, this does have the uh, sight port so that you can see if you do have a, a brass case or something in there. Uh, barrel is powder, or not powder coated, but like a Cerakote finish over top of a phosphate. Same thing with the slide. This slide happens to be titanium, titanium Cerakote. Um, extractor is black. This has like Novak style rear sight. I've seen in some pictures where these had like a sharp ledge on them. I don't know this one doesn't have it, but I have no way of telling um, how new this mod, this obviously is a brand new gun, but I don't know if these have been revised or, or what the deal is. If you look here on the back, um, there's a cocked indicator there, cocked striker indicator is just a little red dot. Um, I'll show clear here. You can see the feed ramp is polished from the factory. Uh, so here's the trigger. The trigger is really nice on it actually. So there's your take up, defined wall, nice break. The reset is um, decent, it's, uh, it's right there. Um, it's not really loud and you can not really feel it in your finger. You just kinda, if you're somebody who's familiar and shoots a lot of striker fire pistols, which I do, um, you kinda can tell where it's at and it's there. I don't, <clears throat> the first one I had, the SAC, it had a uh, double click reset and the first one was a false reset. This one does not have that. So, um, magazine release is steel and mags caught on both sides so I'm gonna say that's reversible. I won't be changing it because I am right-handed. And these you can find for really, really good prices right now. I happen to get this one for right around $200 shipped. Um, they're out there for, for those kind of prices. Now, 
remember you're only getting one magazine with it so add in the uh, fact that you're gonna have to buy a couple other mags um, there are some guns in this price range right now Tor Taurus uh, G3C's um, the Stoger STR series those are really good guns um, a lot of those only come with one mag too but as you if you watch my videos you can see you can use P226 mags in there and they feed and function fine at least in my experience um, three dot sight picture on here I believe a CZ75 sight could be made to fit on that front I don't know about the rear dovetail but it looks very similar to MMP so though might interchange might not I'm not sure don't really care because this gun is just going to be a stash gun for me uh, I'm gonna run it through some paces take it to the range probably shoot 150 to 250 rounds through it and then this is just going uh, to be a toolbox gun so uh, one of the other things that I will be doing in an upcoming video for this not in this one right here uh, traction grips I'm gonna be doing a traction grips install on it because the factory texture just is not great on it it's really slippery there's no texture in right here this gun's covered in oil right now too but uh, you can see there's just nothing there and then this slightly rubberized it's not as rubberized as the gen 1 that I remember um, the the original that was brought in by Zenith um, seemed to have much more of a rubberized feel on this back where these feel just kind of very similar to the the M&P style of uh, polymer so uh, takedown is going to be the same as M&P I can't show that on video unfortunately anymore or I get docked by uh, YouTube so uh, look up a takedown video on a <laughs> M and P if you want to figure out how to do it, but it's just like most striker fire systems. And uh, you can see here, there's your takedown lever. Slide release is functional, and uh, it works really nice. You can see just how oily that barrel is. Uh, that's just from importation shipping, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, it's real easy to just sweep that down, and the slide goes home, and uh, and then you're ready to rip so pretty cool gun uh, like I said I had the SAC the compact and that was all black and I got that when um, CDNN was blowing those out for like a one 195 shipped or some crazy number like that on them so but those came with three mags and they had all the other cool stuff with them this one you're just getting the mag one mag and the gun um, and then that bore brush if you're going to use it. I mean, whatever. But uh, overall, um, pretty cool feeling gone. I can't wait to throw the traction grips on there. So I'll make a video for that. And uh, otherwise, check them out. Like I said, it's uh, around a $200 gun right now. So, And they, this is also available, you know, optics ready. And then there's one that has the... Um, extra cuts up here on it and then there's one with the threaded barrel and there's one actually that was released for a little while and it had it was like the size of the M&P Pro where it had the long 4.9 inch barrel I think it was um, those were hard to come by but um, then you can get it in desert tan you can get it in all black um, used to be able to get it in olive drab but I haven't seen that anywhere and then there was like robin's egg blue frames and all that funky stuff but this one just looks pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it. Thank you guys for watching. Always shoot safe.